Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dr. Chad Coons, and uh, since I've initially shown this anatomy video explaining someone else's problem, I've received a barrage of text messages, direct messages, emails, which is awesome, asking for, any, for me to do one for them. So I'm happy to kind of start chipping away. We're going to talk about Emily today. She's 45, based out of Pineville. She's got a couple of kids who are in their uh, middle age or middle school years, kind of transitioning to high school. She likes working out, but nothing too crazy, but she does do some at-home workouts, which she enjoys because she's limited on time and busy, and I totally get that. But she's developed some tingling in her fourth and fifth digits, uh, or excuse me, yeah, fourth and fifth digits into her pinky and into her ring finger. So we're going to actually walk through seven reasons why she might be having tingling. It's actually not easy, and seven, believe it or not, doesn't even cover all of them. But I do want to start the process of informing you of what, what's potentially uh, going on for her. I'm sure this is helpful for others, too. Uh, so number one, there is actually uh, some fascia that can kind of get entrapped at the hand itself. Uh, it's a canal. The nerve kind of slides in there, and it kind of slides underneath the bone, your small little bones on the wrist, and it can kind of get impinged or irritated there. So if she's doing push-ups incorrectly and she's incorrectly putting too much weight through the base of her hand, I could actually see how that could irritate uh, that nerve at that point in time there to cause her irritation, uh, tingling, and numbness. Uh, number two, don't mind my chicken scratch handwriting, um, the muscle is the flexor carpi ulnaris. So let me just kind of back up for a second and show you where that muscle is. So that muscle helps flex the wrist and it actually helps curve it a little bit. So if you're, you can see me, I kind of curve it a little bit. Uh, it kind of brings your pinky side closer towards your forearm. Uh, so she's doing a lot of flexing and let's say her biceps aren't strong but she's really trying to curl it with her wrist and she overuses that muscle. Uh, I could see how that too could cause uh, what we call peripheral entrainment which means the nerve kind of gets stuck on its way through through that muscle because it's overworked. So we're going to actually swing her on the back side. I'll click on that nerve right there so you guys can see um, as we move into the third area. So the third area is going to be the cubital tunnel. All right, so the nerve kind of goes right through that tunnel. We kind of zoomed way in on it. Let me draw it out there. So this would be number three. As it goes through the cubital tunnel, through the elbow, again, if she's got even weak triceps, she's using her arms incorrectly with her at-home workouts, um, or sometimes even have like a, a loose nerve. People don't really think of it like that, but you can imagine that nerve kind of banging around side to side, and if it keeps banging around side to side, it can even kind of get irritated that way. So that would be number three. Um, number four, it's it's a fancy term. No one's ever really, uh, I'm sure you haven't heard of it. Uh, there's fascia called are the arcade of struthers, but you could just think about it as connective tissue, as fascia. It's just above the elbow. It's going to kind of be in here. In fact, some of the studies have shown it's about eight centimeters uh, away from your elbow towards your shoulder. So it kind of be in this area right there. And again, if that fascia gets tight, for whatever reason, that's a little less known, that too could cause irritation and cause tingling and numbness in her. Remember, this is for her fourth and fifth digits. So yes. Um, as we zoom up a little bit more towards the head, let me move myself out of the way so I can show you exactly the nerves. Get the muscles out of there. All right, so we're on number five. And this is going to be in the brachial plexus. So that's going to be in this area right here. So due to, I would think, more so in a common traditional way, the pec minor. So as I go and bring that muscle up, um, if that muscle gets tight, that can actually start to infringe upon the nerve space, and that can cause some irritation. So we're highlighting it right now. That's your pec minor, and that can irritate the brachial plexus. Uh, rarely you can have more severe diseases that are neuropathies and can affect the nerve, but less common. We're just thinking more everyday practice. So like kind of a tight pec, if she's doing, again, push-ups or pressing and she's overusing her, her pec when she does that, uh, that could irritate the nerve, causing tingling and numbness in her fourth and fifth digits. So we're on number six. So there's kind of this cluster of nerves at the base of the neck called the cervical plexus. Tight scalenes, tight neck muscles. Uh, we didn't even really mention the first rib today, but uh, the first rib's in there, and that can also play a role if it's elevated. Tight upper traps, uh, poor movement, that can all play a role, and again, interface uh, the nerve, causing irritation, tingling, numbness, in the fourth and fifth digits. 
So we're on number seven. We're going to kind of get a back view. I'm going to take away the muscles. And really, it's going to be um, in the what's known as intervertebral foramen. So as the nerves are exiting out in the base of the neck, the ulnar nerve comes out kind of in between here. So for my nerds, it'd be between C4 and C6. This is 7. There we go. Um, you can have some irritation in the neck, tight muscles. Again, kind of a similar to the way you're moving it, the way you're sitting. These all can cause potential tingling and numbness in her fingers. So it also, too, doesn't have to just be one of these. It could be what we kind of call a multiple crush syndrome which means it can kind of slowly add up. So just to kind of finish up, let's say she's got really tight muscles on the left-hand side. So that kind of adds up a little bit. She's got that really tight pec muscle. And then let's say she's doing push-ups incorrectly and putting a lot of pressure through her wrist. You can kind of think about it as adding up to one. So the neck adds in 30% of tightness. Uh, the pec adds in 30% of tightness. And then she's performing her push-ups, pushing wrong through the base of her wrist. Uh, and we'll say that's... 60%, uh, oh, 40%, <laughs> not a math major. So that gives us like, let's say, 100%. And 100% in this case just means that we've met the threshold for pain. Uh, we've met the threshold more so, I guess, specifically for her tingling and numbness in that fourth and fifth digits. So I hope that explains the why, and I hope it's not just for Emily, but for others out there, why they might be feeling tingling and numbness um, in their fourth and fifth digits too. So I hope that was helpful. I really appreciate uh, you guys reaching out and continue to reach out because I love these. I think it's fun and educating people uh, in a way that they need to understand. Uh, people are spending less and less time at the doctor's offices and they're frustrated. I hear about it all the time. So uh, continue sending the messages. Thanks, guys.